Hey y'all, Dude79 here from Banter and Babble. We're coming at you today with a quick impressions of Team Kill Media's Quantum Error, which drops on PlayStation 5 this week on Friday, November 3rd. Or if you pre-ordered the game, you can get early access beginning on Tuesday, October 31st, Halloween. Quantum Error is a first-person cosmic survival horror game. You can play it in first person and third person if you so choose to do so. And it's developed by Team Kill Media, an independent four person development studio. When a research facility 30 miles off the coast of California is attacked by an unknown terrorist organization and fires break out, forcing the facility to go into lockdown, a distress call is sent out for mutual aid to the Garbora Fire Department in San Francisco. Fire Chief Sturgis answers the call and sends you, Jacob Thomas, and a team by helicopter to investigate the situation and help in any way they can. Shortly after your arrival, it doesn't take long to realize that something is amiss, and that's when the game really kind of dives into its cosmic horror elements. Now look, I understand this is a small four-person development studio, and and I respect their um, ambitious uh, vision of what they of the story they want to tell but early on after 10 hours I can say that maybe this might have been almost too ambitious for them that's not to say that there's not some interesting parts of the story it's more or less the execution of everything around the story now look it's not impossible for a small team to kick out a great game but this is also a $59.99 game this game is overall right now it, it's a little rough it's a little rough around the edges in, in, in all aspects of, of, of a game presentation, the audio, uh, the, the voice work, the visuals. For an Unreal Engine 5 game, the facial animations, the mocap is, is a little underwhelming. Uh, sometimes it can be even a little unintentionally funny, and that can really pull you out of the experience. Some of the dialogue is a little, is a little rough. Jacob, we made it. No thanks to your dad's driving. From a story perspective, it's it's interesting, but it is a little convoluted. Uh, and again, it doesn't help that some of the performances and uh, the mocap and whatnot is is very it, it's very underwhelming at times. Now, while the story and the presentation leave something to be desired early on. That's not the only issues with the game. The combat itself, the AI, uh, is, isn't great. Um, it, it, at times, it can be downright bad. For a survival horror game, I want to feel some dread. You know, early on, you're fighting uh, you know, trained insurgents and whatnot, but then you come across some of the more cosmic creatures that you'll encounter in the facility the deeper you get into the story. Uh, and even they just don't provide much of a challenge. They're kind of just like standing there. Some of them will rush you, uh, but for the most part, you know, a lot of the enemies that I've, en- I've encountered early on are stationary pot shots and they're not very accurate. We're talking stormtrooper accuracy at times. And they're very, very easy to dispose of. So you don't have much of a challenge early on. The story is a little convoluted. The presentation is underwhelming. And then to add on top of it, I've had several glitches. The first big boss fight I got into, um, the boss just kind of disappeared from the arena. And at the same time, you're wearing a gas mask and the room is toxic so you're constantly burning through the the air and when the boss disappears uh i died because i ran out of air and there were no more air packs for me to grab when you have all that piled up on one another it does make for a somewhat frustrating experience uh and and disappointing at the same time now hopefully they're able to get out a couple more patches that'll kind of clean some of the issues up you know i'm going to continue to push through it and we'll definitely talk about the full game in review next week on an episode of banter and babble but um as of right now it's hard to recommend this game at the full price uh obviously i think on playstation there's a discount right now if you're a plus member but it's still, um, it's a pricey game. And with so many games coming out this fall, so many big titles, it's hard to recommend a game at this price when there's so many games out there that are much more polished than what Quantum Error currently is. But like I said, we're going to play through it. We'll finish it up. And next week, we'll give our final review on it. Uh, let us know your thoughts. If you're playing through Quantum Error, if you pre-ordered it and you got the early access and you're playing through it, let us know in the comments below what you think of it. We want to hear from you. And we'll see you on Wednesday night. Thanks for watching.